This is fine. You see the disconnect here? The prophet does everything for reason. Ah, oh, there we go. So different from any other religion. Well, it depends on what part of Christianity we're talking about. But I agree with you. Here yeah, was the point I agree with you. The price of paradise paradise mm -hmm. cannot be earned by our actions only mm -hmm. okay I'll, I'll. Person could, all right for example I don't know if I really wanted to give you an example, but there is the whole how the Hindus would, um, if a husband dies, they kill their wife with, to, to take them, that's their philosophy, they found that to be righteous. Yeah. Or how the Mayans will kill a ba sacrifice a baby and think that they're doing, they're doing the right thing, yeah. even though they, they block off the noise and, and, and so that the mother doesn't hear. So if the, yes, all religion preach morality, yeah, and they preach like, do good to your neighbor, but but if there's a hierarchy in philosophy, like i.e. Um, the Hindus, I mean the Mayans saying you can kill off children because that's what their God wants. But Jesus said if you were to cause any of these little ones to stumble, then it's better for you to uh, have a rope tied around your head and be um, thrown into the sea. Yeah. So that means one of them is worthy of, worthy of following more than the other yeah. because there's a hierarchy of philosophy. Yeah. One philosophy says it is good to kill your children and people can consent to that and be like, yeah, that's good. But the other one says do not kill children. It is better it is better for you to kill yourself yeah. so yeah. one is worthy of following and the other isn't so my question is why what makes christianity so different from uh, everything that everything every other religion um although preaching morality they do kind of follow through the same point where your workspace your due base everything that you can do in the physical is what matters for for you know, paradise but christianity says you can't even earn it if you if yeah. you try to yeah. uh, um um do as much good as possible I agree with that. so it seems like one has a higher ground of philosophy doesn't that mean that it, like my question is why, why is the Christianity so different from any other religion well it depends on what part of Christianity we're talking about but I agree with you here was the point I agree with you the price of paradise paradise mm -hmm. cannot be earned by our actions only mm -hmm. okay so I'll, I'll. A person could, all right for example a person could do all all possible goodness yeah. that they, they, they can possibly but the goodness itself cannot equal they have earned paradise so the price of paradise does not human actions cannot earn it so the earning of God's pleasure and paradise is not only by human actions am I saying the same you are you are I understand what you mean because I'll, I'll probably hold on to the consensus of like even though you're even although you're doing good works you also have to believe in the in the the, the deity that that will, that will, that will, God. Um, yeah. uh, that will get, grant you that heaven. Yes, and which is why every other religion. So it's, it's about belief. It's about mercy of God's mm -hmm. mercy. So no one will enter paradise on yes. their deeds alone. Okay, cool. But, but, but now even in God, everyone believes. In, everyone believes in God. Yeah. Everyone. Uh, well, mo let's say everyone that everyone that's a believer believes in God. So we can cancel that out. So uh, if we, the criteria was just to believe in God, everyone will get into heaven you can cancel that out and say that okay the, the belief in god is not a necessity why does your workplace take you to heaven we are we are sinful humans god is god and his environment is purity yes in the midst of light in the midst of purity there is no stain of darkness there is no stain there is no shadow so me being me being a sinner that i've put on sin and i've and, I, and i've done dark things i have no business having a presence in God's um, in heaven so that's why sin is not necessarily like a hierarchy in according to the Christian faith it's not necessarily a hierarchy as soon as you've sinned you're like Adam and Eve all they just done was eat from the tree that God said not to do it's not like they killed someone yeah but yet they were casted out sin means to just disobey God so you're casted out every other religion kind of um, allows you to do um, to do that because it is work based but now if I come up to God and I say and God says, "Oh, have you worshipped me?" And then He says, "Yes, I have worshipped you." And then, he, and then He says, oh, "Do you think you deserve heaven?" And then he, I, I start telling Him, "Oh, I've done this. I fed my neighbor. I've done all of that. I've done all of that." It, it doesn't equate. I still, I still sin. 
So I need to get punished for that. So any sinner has zero presence in the midst of God. This is what Christian belief um, um, teaches you. You have zero presence in the midst of God. You need a salvation. You need some sort of salvation. You need to achieve God's mercy. But every other religion says you have to work for you to obtain some, um, paradise. Only Christian. I, I well, agree with the first part. I'll tell you why. Some people will hold the view that salvation or being saved from hellfire and achieving God's pleasure and paradise is all about works. Some mm. people hold that view. Some people say it's not about works, it's about something else, meaning the crucifixion of Jesus. It's right. About, now, yeah. right. Now, I Faith. take the view yeah. that a person's salvation is based upon works together with, not negating, together with. So it's a combination of words, together with a correct belief in one God. That's but, where salvation is. Mm -hmm. Works together with it. So I'm not saying it's all about works or it's not about works, it's all about belief. So I'm saying it's a combination of having a correct belief in one God plus effort, struggle. Understandable, sir. Laws, yes. God laws, Understandable, sir. Understandable, sir. But that's the thing, though, with Christianity. We don't say uh, um, works. Um, uh, we, we don't say you have to do the works plus uh, um, have the faith. Belief. Uh, correct belief. Yeah. And works. And works. So we don't say we don't say that. We say we say have the belief. Or I mean, we don't say those two are the requirements to heaven. We're saying have the belief, and the works will outflow after. Believe in Jesus Christ, then you do the works. Well, then, you, then if, the if, if it was a matter, no, no, no. The thing is, the reason why is if it's a matter of my works, even though like I go to God now and I say, um, I have believed in you. I have been a faithful, ser um, um, faithful servant, and I believed in you, and I've done this because. Of of your my requirements of doing this you have to let me in no, no, that's no, me playing to, pride no, no. that is pride when you when you when you rely your no, salvation you no 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 yes. well, you kind of have to when, no, when, no, if no, you if it's work use that language yes it is because well, if it's work based it then becomes work based because because uh, uh, if um god said you it's work i mean uh, salvation i mean faith plus works if i go to god and i said i've got the faith part and i've done a good amount of works he must let me in no, 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 must let you. So then you're, then you're faith only no, but, then. But tell me. Then it's faith only. Tell me, tell me who believes in God and believes in prophets and believe in, uh, in paradise and hellfire will imagine having a conversation with saying, you must let me in. Well, not really. Jesus no. addresses that. No, yo. Jesus said to the, Jesus said to the, I talked about the false prophets and he said, yeah, when it comes to the day of judgment, they will say to me, Lord, Lord, I, 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 um, have we not um, casted our demons? and performed good works in your name and Jesus and Jesus said to them be gone for me I knew you York bear, I knew you not bear in mind he was telling um, they were telling him that we've done good works we've casted our demons and done good works in your name i.e. they believed in his name and they done good works but because they were bragging on the on their work Jesus said be gone for me I knew you not so it's about their faith even the story of Mary and Martha I think there's some parts of it we're saying the same thing I think some parts I, I understand we works for we're Christian works is also important we're not saying works oh, is not important we're, no, but the works is an outpour it's the fruit of the faith the faith comes by hearing and I'm then works try, comes out I'm after. not trying to be contentious but in a conversation with yeah. you I'm looking for every way to see this common understanding yeah so I'm simply saying as a concept of salvation is a combination okay cool well, you believe in God correct mm -hmm. correct believe in God so I cannot say I believe in God but God is a statue I cannot say I believe in God but God is a tree. No, I'm saying believe in God correctly and you make effort to by do practicing what, righteousness, yeah, to do how you love fulfilling God. the commandments yes. of God and that combination will will achieve salvation. Now, I'm not saying a person has a right to demand that on God. Well, if, 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 that's if, not the argument. That's, that's, that's where I'm stepping in and saying that if um, the, your salvation is based on your faith plus your works, when it comes to heaven, when it comes to, if your necessity of not going to jail is based on your good deeds as well you can go to a judge and be like and the judge tells you you've murdered someone we're sentencing you to five years and then you tell the judge that but, uh, but judge I, I helped an old lady cross the road because that's your works your good works although you're you're guilty of a crime you're also looking at you're, you're coming to a judge and saying but well, what about my good works you uh, by that if if your um, works is also important for your salvation then
and you you are, um, you, um, you have a ground to stand on before the judge. But if it, if it is not and you are a criminal, then the judge is on to charge you on your crime. So if your crime is you've murdered someone, you have no access, even if you believe that the judge is it's a rightful judge to be in, in command. But if you think about two things, mankind have a covenant with God. Mm -hmm. We call it the Shahada. So the Shahada is a covenant between us and God. And secondly, secondly, we have a promise from God. Mm -hmm. So when we enter into a contract with God, we enter into a covenant with God, God give us a promise that if we do what he asks us to do, if we do what he order us to do, his promise on us will be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So two things happen here. We agree with God that we acknowledge him as how he ought to be acknowledged and we agree to do what he asks us to do yeah. and in return God will fulfill his promise to us, fulfill his covenant yeah. by giving us his promise. Now, the point is this. Now, we actually no, it didn't, no, it didn't show me. This thing is not working well. No, no, no. Noise is a bit distracting. No, no. Right. But, so uh, the question is this. The question is this. Some Christians who are heavily focused on the New Testament, mm -hmm. some of them hold the view that entire salvation is based on believing the crucifixion and the resurrection of God. So if you believe Jesus died for sins, yeah. then that's the core of your salvation. Mm -hmm. That's the entire salvation. And I think, and, and some of them will argue that it's not about works. Not all, not mm -hmm. all. So I take that back. Not all Christians argue, but some of them will argue that. And I think in many cases, that has watered down Christianity. Not we, necessarily, sir. We, because Jesus said, yeah, um, Jesus said, call no man, uh, I mean, you know, long to like, I might be getting it wrong, like someone no, coming no, in the conversation, yeah. you know, yeah. like um, um, yeah. salvation is not based on your works so that no man can boast. The reason why I said no man can boast is because if it is written on the constitution of, of the heavenly kingdom, i.e. the Bible, then when it comes to the day of judgment, I can say, but God, you said you said here that my I can I can work for my salvation. But I understand what you mean. You can't worship God without doing his work. hundred percent. The same so when Jesus gave us the gift of life and he said um I, he gave us a gift of life here. If someone gives you a gift now you're not going to go around and slap the person. You're not going to go around and disrespect the person. You're going to be very appreciative. That's why majority of our prayer is based on Thanksgiving because he done this. So we, we uh, for you to be thanks um, to be in Thanksgiving, that means you are you are acknowledging a, a, a level of respect for the person. And if it is God, you are acknowledging a level of respect to the ultimate to say that you know what? Because the way I can, the only way I can thank you because I can't thank you with an equivalent exchange. The only way I can thank you is to do what you told me to do. Yes. So, so, so um, faith comes by hearing. Uh, um, 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 salvation is given through grace. Faith comes by faith comes by hearing. But the works is an is a is the fruit of what the faith that you have. It's not necessarily what gets you into paradise. So it's what the, will get you? In the belief in Jesus Christ, the, um, um, only Jesus. Because bear in mind, when Jesus was on the cross, the the man on his left and right, the man on his right hand side, yeah, sinner all his life to that point. Sinner, murderer. In jail, all of that, to that point, and then G, um, and he said, um, when you get to heaven, um, he, he insulted the other guy, and he said, to, uh, well, um, when you get to heaven, um, please remember me. And Jesus said, on this day, you will enter paradise with me. So, if his work was based, if it was based on his work, all of his bad deeds, he would have, you know. Totally so Jesus, it was be salvation in Christian, Christianity is based on the belief in Jesus Christ's death and resurrection, and that's about it. That's why Romans eight verse one says. With those in Christ, there is no condemnation. So, or what if we're in Christ? What does that mean? No condemnation. That means you're not con you're shall we, like. Shall we read that verse? Yes, yeah, sure. You want to read it? Yes. Yeah, um. Yes, yeah, sure. Let me pull up Romans eight verse one. That's my phone. The Bible, and then I'll also read um Romans five verse one as well because I we went through it today. Romans eight. Verse one. Therefore, now, um, uh, there is, there is therefore no, con uh, no condemnation with those in Christ, for the law, uh, for the law of the spirit of life 
has, um, has set for you because he is the, um, the spirit of life. I'm dyslexic as hell, right, guys. No, no, so that's please, fine. you know. Yeah, yeah. So Christians that follow the commands of Jesus because they let Jesus change them, they are not judged on the day of judgment because the the pay, the the sins have been paid for. Right, but listen to this. Right. It says here, there is, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. For the law of the spirit of life has set upon you. Yes. The law. What is the law? But what is the law of the spirit of Christ? Because right. bear in mind, the law, the law the, uh, um, that Moses received was a physical was a, a, a law that indicates for them to worship in a physical place but when in the Old Testament it says there will be a time when my people worship in spirit the law of the spirit of Christ is to follow the Lord your God with all of your heart soul and mind yeah. and to follow uh, and, and, and to love your neighbor you as you love yourself verse, you were citing this verse saying there is no condemnation yes of those in Christ yes now so this was put into a context where we were talking about three positions People believe alone with no actions. People believe and act or actions alone. A lot of people who will take the I am not saying action is bad. I'm not saying no, like, no, no, you know, we're not I'm saying, saying that. Bad. I'm saying people take the view of that. But this year, there's no condemnation in Christ for the, for the law of the spirit of life has been given. Law. Yes. So, but if we understand the word law, law compels you to behave a certain way. Yes. So, right. So, laws have a lot to do with obedience right yes the law have a lot to do with obedience yes right so the question is good if we're using that verse to help us to understand salvation then salvation is in observing laws the laws of God okay uh, let's read a little further down because yeah, you read for verse 2 it says for the law of the spirit uh, um, of life um, has set on you free free in Christ from the law of sin so these these two laws are different. The law of Moses was the law of sin. The, the law, law, the law that free you from sin. The, the law of the spirit of Christ is yeah. different from the if law you of read sin. It, it says the law that free you from sin. What laws is free you from sin? The, if you obey God, you submit to God. Yeah. Right. You, you may not agree with this word, but this is my language. You yeah, enslave right. yourself to God. We are well, also right. slaves of God. Right. You know, there's yeah, nothing wrong that. But we are adopted as Good. children. Yeah. You know. Right. So that now will free you from sin. Yeah. That's Salvation. So salvation. No, salvation. That is, isn't salvation. No, no, no. Salvation is the first passage. You know. Then the works come in. You are first saved. No, then you get. Law. Yes, but, Our conversation but sir, was about salvation. salvation. Yes, salvation is on the first verse when it says, "Therefore, there is no condemnation in in uh, with was those it, in Christ." Was it, That's where salvation Romans is. Where? But uh, Romans one verse. Um, I mean Romans eight verse one. It says, um, "Therefore, um, there is therefore no condemnation with those in." Christ. That is the faith. So we're not condemned if you're in Christ, i.e. the man uh, on the right hand side of the cross. For the law of the spirit uh, of life has set on you. So even if you're in Christ, Romans. we're not saying good A, verse 1. We're just Romans A as a whole, you know. So we're saying, therefore there's no condemnation for them which is in Christ, yes. who walk not after flesh, mm -hmm. but in the spirit. For the law of the spirit, yes. is the law. So yeah. what, what I'm trying to say, my argument is, I'm using the scriptures now to mm -hmm. suggest there's no condemnation, mean to say you will yeah, not you're be in condemned Christ, to hell by you. You are now operating in the spirit. You're under the, the spirit, spirit also as under an order. the law of yes. the spirit. So the law, mm -hmm. law is obedience. Yes. So but therefore, but if you are into obedience, do not fear condemnation. However, the principle of observation, uh, the principle will teach teach us that if you are in opposition to the law if you are in opposition yes. to the law you, you can you can claim to you, 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 so, again the reason why let me not explain it 
All right, oh, Romans 8 verse 1 oh says you are not condemned because of your faith in Jesus Christ. It doesn't say you are not condemned because you don't follow the law. It says you are not condemned because you, you are, you, those who are in Christ are not condemned. But if you are in Christ and within the covenant of Christ, we operate in spirit. The spirithood also has an, uh, an order that is to follow. Freedom, um, um, salvation is not given by the law, but those who are in Christ follow the law as a gratitude. So we, we're saying good works matter, but good works is not what gives you salvation. I agree with that because the people but every in this that, country. See, remember we were talking in the beginning about the differentiation between all of us. Why is it like in Christianity, um, you're, you already receive salvation by being in Christ, but then you do the law after. But every other religion will say you have to do the works, then you get salvation. Which my religion. I mean, doesn't yeah, say that. it kind of does. It says, my religion you know, doesn't it, say it says that. well, the Quran it's says like it's a misrepresenting representation of my belief. Now I'll tell you something about Quran. You can research it, you can disagree with me the next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Every time Allah speaks, He commands you to obey Allah, believe in Allah, and obey Him. Yeah. Believe and obey. But we've already obey. limited the, the um, um, believe in one God part. No, no. We, we can get to that. Okay. But the, the, the principle of what I'm trying to say, there's a consistent pattern mm -hmm. where belief and actions always go together. Mm -hmm. In Quran. So the Quran does not, the Quran never does it says all you have to do is by works alone. Because the Prophet peace be upon him said that no one will enter Jannah, Al Jannah, by their works alone. But by the I'm not sure, I'm not sure um Shall I show where it says that. Well, can I show you? The Prophet Muhammad said that. Because from what I understand, um, uh, where it says no good, uh, no one, no one will burden the burden of another, is indicating that um, your burden is 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 associated, associated to your salvation. What is associated to your salvation? Your, I mean, your works. When it says it no one will burden the burden of another, it is associated. But yes, you have so to understand. Christ, that's what I'm saying. The Christian is it's not associated. No, no, that's not true. The well, Christian, we do, we do good works not because we want to get to heaven. We do good works as a gratitude, not because we, because we can't do, do good, good, good works. Jesus said, our, to. but Jesus said, no, no, no. Jesus said, our good, good works is is like dirty rags in the eyes of God. So we do good works not because we want to obtain salvation. We do good works to be grateful for God, um, God giving us life. But in Islam, um, good works and belief in God are correlated. So by that definition, you can go to um, to Jannah and the demand of Allah that I have believed in you no, and I've you gone out, I've done what, what, if I, what, if, what if I raise you out my good works? No, you can't use the word demand. Hmm? You cannot, we cannot use the word demand. No well, one can demand anything from you. Well, you know, the you reason can't. why, I, okay, I'll take it back. But the reason why I say the word demand is because if um, a judge, you're, you're entitled, okay, right, entitled. No, no, we, we don't you're, you're kind of in, well, well, if Allah says it that yeah, um, by your good works and your faith in Allah, that's how you get into uh, heaven. No. And then if I, if then you get to heaven, um, to Jannah, and then Allah, uh, you said my my good works are here, my bad works are here, okay. Allah. Let, uh, yeah. If you say my good works are here, my bad works are here, then Allah has to give you a heaven because you've done good works. All right, listen to this. None of you will enter paradise by his deeds alone. They said, not even you, Messenger of Allah, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, not even me, unless by Allah grants me mercy, know that most the beloved deed to Allah is done regularly, even if it's done small. So, uh, the passage kind of contradicts what you're saying. What because passage? Well, what you're reading, no, I can't no, remember. contradicts what you were saying. No, no, the, contra the reason why I'll, I'll say it contradicts what you're saying is right. because no, it says you cannot come to Allah by your good deeds alone. So you but I'm saying you know, paradise. Listen, you let, me, let, me, let me finish. Because it says you cannot come enter paradise with, uh, by your good deeds alone. alone. But I'm saying with Christendom, you cannot enter into heaven with your good deeds at all. There's a difference in philosophy there. For us, it's at all. all right, you only do good deeds as a thanksgiving. You don't do good deeds as a, as a means to enter. With Allah, you are, you are not, uh, I can understand, not good deeds alone. The belief in Allah is also necessary. We say the same but thing, but with us, we say your good deeds 
deeds is nothing because Jesus said your good deeds is like dirty rags in the in, in the eyes of God so you cannot enter, enter God with any good deeds at all but Jesus but, did not say by your, your good deeds is yes he did right, show me that. yes he did but just to correctly represent what the Quran says the Prophet Muhammad clearly says our good deeds by itself yes. is not Gant and they are the, the companions like I said what about you he says even me we yes. enter paradise through God's mercy and I remember we were talking about the differences in philosophy yes. because I said all religion preach morality but there's a, there's a hierarchy in the philosophy within the morality your um, um, Allah says or well, Muhammad says you cannot enter um, a Jannah with your good deeds alone, alone you know but Christian we say you cannot enter heaven with your good deeds at all there's a difference in philosophy one yeah, says alone case, one says there's the an case. association yeah. and the other one says you cannot even do it at all mm. only your faith in Christ does it that's why I gave you the, the story of the right. man on the cross if good you know, deeds cannot enter us into paradise uh, right what was that going to look up again uh, it will come to me it will come we'll, to we'll me. come back we'll come back to that. that's fine right now if our good oh, the verse was you said that Jesus said that the good de your good deeds oh, are good. like rags in the sight of the uh, like filthy rags and that is found in okay not jesus saying it who said it well um in isaiah 6 verse um, um who's actually saying it isaiah right. so it's still um um belief pattern it doesn't matter if you, it uh, does makes a difference well it doesn't because we follow the whole old bible testament. yeah we, we still follow that no the, you don't follow the old, the old, old testament, the old testament you know. yes we do the old testament is prescribed i mean is description not prescription if it describes a way of living we can still use it as a consensus first to live. of all you do not follow the old yes testament. we do do you circumcise we i'm circumcised no, not not you personally but we don't I answer, we can I answer we can, the question wrong not yeah personally. we, but we you don't believe circumcision is compulsory. It's, it's not what gives you uh exactly. yeah it's, it's not, not compulsory but we do so, exactly. there, actually we do laws there is a way of circumcision in christianity circumcision of yeah. the heart yeah yeah so and we do circumcise so there was, in the past then you said circumcise, there, yeah. but but if you want to that's playing pragmatics maybe i'm the one playing pragmatics but the words can be used differently you know if the old ways of um uh, of um obtaining favor or salvation with god is through circumcision and then in the, in christ we're circumcised from through the heart i still so circumcised yes this, this so when in isaiah read. says um, slow down, slow down. Slow down. I know, I know. I, I'm Nigerian, guys. <laughs> you know, we speaking, we whisper in capital letters. You know, so um, um, I even can't read without my glasses. I know. So you're 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 um, even when, uh, even, I mean, when we display our righteous deeds, they are nothing but dirty rags. You read know, the whole one, complete. Let me get it. I'll, I'll. Hey, come on, man. Isaiah um, 64. Isaiah 64 verse 6 Isaiah 64 um, let me read Isaiah 64 well, let's go from verse 5 um, you meet him who um, who joyf um, joyfully works righteousness those who remember you in your ways behold you are you are you were angry and were what verse is it um verse five first oh five no no it's fine okay let's Why go to verse six. no it's, it's 64 64 actually 64 yeah 64 right. verse five um verse let me just get back mostly says in another place i can't let me let me maybe someone someone can I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be wrong, you know, someone can correct me, but uh, in, in verse 6 it says, um, we have all become like the one who are unclean, and all our righteousness, and all our righteous deeds are like, are like a polluted garment, um, we are, I mean, we all fade like a leaf, and uh, our iniquities are like the wind, um, take us away. 
So uh, even in the eyes of God, our good deeds are like dirty rags. So you can do as much good deeds you want. God is pure. You still have zero presence in it because you are stained. Type in six. Oh, six. Because that's the one I was I mainly was trying to focus on. I just wanted to give a little bit of context. But I, f I think there's another passage that de describes it better off than Isaiah 64. Okay, it seems like all of the consensus is Isaiah 64 verse, verse 6. Um, Romans 10. Romans 10. Verse 9 to 10. Let me, let me try with Romans 10. Yeah, but it says it talks about the iniquities, you know? Yeah. Not talk about your righteousness, talk about your iniquities. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find a, a talk verse about your that. iniquities. Yeah. I'm reading um, it. We're on the same page here. No, I know, I know, I know. Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. 9 and 10 because of because if your confession if your mouth if your mouth is not alone you will say you are a believer so that you are a believer